Você que vai colocar ali em cima da mesa ou a serpente? Pô, ela vai ficar aqui do meu lado, né? Mas vocês precisarem, eu dou pra vocês. Beleza. Eles estão ouvindo a gente, não, né? A gente tem que seguir alguma coisa. Quem que é o capitão? Quem que é o imediato? Aí? Eu sou o capitão. Eu tenho a hat. Você não tem o capitão. Eu sou o capitão agora. Eu tenho a hat. Eu sou o capitão agora. Quando você conseguir colocar a hat no seu cabelo, você tem o capitão. Não, 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 não. Olha para mim. Olha para mim. Eu olho para você. E eu sou o capitão agora. Eu tenho a hat no meu cabelo. You really don't like your job, huh, Luca? I love being the captain. <laughs> Very good. You not only don't, you, you not only don't have the hat, you don't have the gun. You don't have the gun. Ah, oh. uh, that gun, <laughs> that gun's only good for one bullet. Knives. <laughs> I knife, only need one. <laughs> knives don't need reloading. That's true. That is knives true. don't need reloading. <laughs>
Hey everyone, I'm Randy Sackett with the Forged Realm, and I am. What the? Hello, are are we live? Yeah. Hey guys, how are you? Hello. Are you on? Hello, hello. I think this is gonna uh, have some feedback. So yeah, yeah, yeah. guys. Yes. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? Tell, tell us in the comments if if we have an echo, if we still have an echo. Yes. Hello, is it okay the sound? Well? Hello there. Is everything okay? Sorry guys for this technical issues. It's still echo, it's still echo, so we gotta shut down this mic. Sorry guys, we were to, we were trying to to solve these problems here, but but okay, everything's gonna work out. We're gonna work what what we got here. So hi, how are you guys? We're back with our live streams today with a very special live stream, the ship review stream. That's why we are like pirates here. I don't know if you notice my eye patch, my hook. Okay. <laughs> So we have this big review today, and I'd like to pass the word to my friends Luca and Tiago here to talk about uh, Lady Harpy ship, our previous ship, and a little bit more about our our next bundle, the bundle of this the the ship we're going to review, Envio Tempest. So, yes, yes. So hello everyone. Uh, hey. Yes, yeah, it's, it's been a while since we did a. a, a pirate ship live stream a year and a half pretty much yeah same hat though which is very fun so yeah the last time uh luca was in this hat yeah. i believe i believe we were doing the review for the review for ship of yeah uh the bundle where we got the lady harpy our first big pirate ship uh we and now it's getting revamped a little bit yeah it's getting revamped because we've we've been uh wanting to do another ship for a while but when we did the lady harpy this was a lot of work at the time uh i, I remember we were actually a kind of you know a couple months ahead of schedule and the lady harpy almost put us uh, a, a, a couple month behind yeah <laughs> almost almost uh so it took us a while before we were able to do a pirate ship again but we have something very special for you today yes. uh, and since we were doing a new pirate ship we decided to revamp the the fdm version of the lady harpy so the fdm version of the lady harpy has been totally uh recut uh and re uh, and it's going to be much much easier to print in fdm now mm -hmm. uh, and it should a, be a bit more gameable as well which is very yes. good to mention and it should be available fairly soon on our website i i'm not yeah. sure on the exact date if it's going to be available uh with the release of the bundle i believe not i believe it's going to take a little bit more mm -hmm. uh, but uh we're not here to talk about the lady harpy yes right? uh we are here to talk about a, a new ship and a new bundle we're here to talk about the envious tempest yeah. in our season of sin let me talk a little bit about the envious tempest uh we're sailing into the bottomless sea the domain of uh the green eyed mistress of envy uh arena which is uh this lady over here uh which yes. we're gonna showcase before we get to the ship but yeah just hold on real soon quick. enough yeah, we have we have a lot of like really really cool models in this bundle. We're not gonna go through all of them. You can check out the spoilers in our community and in our uh, I believe they're going to be both in our Facebook and in our Discord. So you can check mm -hmm. check all of the spoilers there with the artist credits. Uh, and yeah, let's yeah we're we're not gonna take too long with these ones. Yes. Uh, guys, I'm reading the comments. I forgot to tell you, so you can send uh, everything you want here. And uh, let me just clear something here. Uh, first, uh, we're very sorry for these technical issues, but that's okay. And uh, I think Melanie uh, said YouTube comments disabled. That's right. Uh, this is the last stream we're going to restream on YouTube. So uh, for now on. All our streams are going to be here on Twitch. And uh, right now we are streaming on YouTube, but the comments are disabled. So 
if you want to comment on the chat come here to twitch uh this is our main platform right now okay so let's continue We're probably not gonna take too long on the on the, on these models. Uh, as I said, you can check out the. We we'll pro we'll probably have painted spoilers uh, mm -hmm. up on our Discord and on and on Facebook right I now. I think we already do actually. Yes. Yeah. And, and the and the full bundle is going to be available uh, on uh, on Sunday, anyways. Yeah. And you're going so, you're going to be able to see the 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 video for the bundle soon enough as well, which is going to be really great. Yes. Just a second, you guys. Galera. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so yes, Irina Tegrinite the Mistress. We also have a, a, an awesome uh, shark uh, captain here. Yes. Uh, and uh, it's a it's a shark folk pirate captain who's also uh, very ghostly. We have a a, a lot of dead pirates on this ship so i, I think that you probably can see right here yeah th there's a couple of them behind us mm -hmm. so you can probably guess the inspiration for it mm -hmm. uh but without further ado let's uh we're gonna let me clear this up first because yes it's it's a big one it's a it's a big one she's it's, a sailing yeah it's right up there with lady harpy uh and it is huge we have a, a friend of ours bringing it to the table because we cannot be trusted with something this big. I definitely can't. Yeah. Just okay, just right, right here. here. Right on top. Mm -hmm. top. Yes. It's yes. Coming. Oh. It's, it's yes, coming. Yes, it's big. It's, it's big, you guys. Big. Let me help, help just a second. Just a second. Yeah, sure. I will not no, argue. No, no, no. Let me try to do this. Okay. Yes. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. We don't want to, you know, drop anything on the table like last time. We don't want to break any minis. Uh, but we do have this behemoth here for you guys today. Wow. It is a big, big ship. Yeah, there we go. There we okay. go. Just doing some final adjustments. <laughs> so this is the Death's Whisper. Or, uh, or fully gameable ship for the Envious Tempest bundle. Let me just turn it around so you can uh, soak in all the <laughs> I think glorious it's, details. It's big enough that it's getting to our microphone, so... Yeah, no issue. We're yeah. gonna... Look how big it is. Just one minute, guys. Sure. Yeah, um, Paint Monkey is saying, chances of putting the other pirate ship next to it for a scale? Well, yes, there's, there, we're gonna do that, but... Can we do that at the end, please? <laughs> Just we we're gonna show you the the whole new ship, and then we're gonna grab the Lady Harpy. Okay, we promise. Yeah, the 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 main issue with the Lady Harpy is that it's behind me right now, so I'm gonna probably be the one that's going to have to do it this with a little bit of help from Luca. Yeah, and I am not like there, there's a reason. There's a there's a little plaque behind me right now, uh, with the numbering the days since I've broken a mini, because it's kind of just a matter of time. <laughs> uh, but let's, let's discuss, let's talk a little bit in about the Death's Whisper. Uh, it has a different design, a different sail design from the, from the uh, Lady Harpy. Uh, that's, that's on purpose. We wanted to do something that, that looked and felt different. Uh, there's a lot that can be done with the Lady Harpy already to, you know, uh, with the paintwork to make the ship your own. Uh, so we want to give you a, a kind of completely new option with the Death Whisper. Uh, we've also kind of learned a lot with the Lady Harpy mm -hmm. in regards of stuff that we should do, stuff that we shouldn't do in regards to this model. So you're going to notice that the, uh, the Lady Harpy is a great ship, but the Death Whisper is a lot, lot more playable, which was one of the main goals that we have with, it, uh, with this project. Uh, and yeah, there's there's a couple uh, a couple different levels that we want to show you, mm -hmm. uh, and we're, we're gonna try to do it uh, as best we can. Uh, the uh, yeah, before we before jump we into do, that, let's yeah. let's just share some technical specs mm -hmm. on the on the Death Whisper. Uh, do you wanna take that one? Luca? Sure thing, I will. Uh, this this beautiful shit here. Uh, the concept was done by Katatao, and the 3D uh, modeling for it was done by Gabriel Hildner. And uh, the paint job was done by Masha, which is 
amazing. It looks incredible. So uh, for the people that want to know um, uh, about the, re uh, the resin print for this, this boat, it, it is printable in resin, of course. Uh, the Deaf Whisper uh, takes, uh, it is uh, cut up in 68 pieces and uh, it uh, takes 5.6 liters of resin uh, when it's hollow and 8 liters of uh, resin when it's uh, on solid, uh, solid pieces. And uh, while in FDM, uh, the Death Whisper comes in uh, 84 uh, different parts and the weight of the, the full print comes uh, to around 2.2 kilograms. Yeah, and that's, counting support. Yeah, yes. and the, the FDM, uh, I, I should mention that the FDM version of it has been optimized for FDM. Yeah. So uh, one of the things that you may have noticed is that it's 84 parts. It's more, technically more parts than the, than the resin version. But the reason for that is that some, some of the pieces, for instance, the masts, they actually come split in two. Mm -hmm. So they're kind of, you know, two sides of a, two halves of a cylinder instead of being a full cylinder and that makes them optimized for FDM with the minimum amount of supports. Uh, there's also a lot of you know uh, detachable parts that you're going to be uh, uh, a couple of them you're going to be printing uh, uh, the same part kind of multiple times mm -hmm. a couple of th and you know it's going to be uh, I think the FDM experience is going to be uh, it's going to be an easier one and a, and a faster one, definitely. Yeah. Uh, and it actually, this one is the is the resin version, but the FDM quality doesn't doesn't leave a lot to be desired. Mm -hmm. It's it's a it's a really really uh, great uh, model, and it's and we've worked a lot to make sure that it actually works yeah. for uh, for both resin and FDM. Uh, so shall we should. Shall we start taking it, it apart? Yes, it's, let's do that. I uh, am. Uh, yes, I am excited. So, okay, about so this. first, first off, let's take take off the. Uh, yes, there we go. Okay. Uh, uh, show off the captain quarters. Take, yeah, taking off the, the top deck there, to, uh, which I, I believe is the bridge of the ship. Actually, yes. uh, we can, can actually see the captain quarters uh, inside here. Uh, good to mention that these grates are removable. Yes. Um, you can also glue them there, but they're removable if you want. Um, amazing. Yes. And so. uh, I believe it's the, it's the captain's quarters are a separate piece, right? Um, I don't know. Let's find out. Yes. Are they? I, I don't, don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, I think they're... They're one piece uh, with. Oh yes, uh, the rest this of the ship. this may have been a. Uh, you may think this is a bug that I just you know detached the window, but it's actually a feature. Uh, yes, the, the windows are removable. We made them removable, uh, and we kind of put in a little piece of. I think it's uh, is it acrylic paint? Uh, it's an acrylic sort of thing. Might just, just be. But yeah. Yes. There we go. Here we are. There we go. Yes, there are the captain quarters. And we do have a couple of, you know, scattered terrain objects that are made to go in there. Yeah. This, this is uh, an amazing piece. Look at the amount of details. Uh, the windows, as he said, are removable. Um, we also have the grates here. We have uh, the full sails, uh, which this ship has uh, six of. Um, two masts and then uh, one in uh, the back of the ship. So let's take a look. Yes, so uh, if you want to give it yes. to me because I can put it on this side. Ooh, this is, this is dangerous. Yeah. This is dangerous for me. Uh, and a uh, good thing about this, uh, this pieces are flush with the table, uh, the ones that we just yeah. removed for, uh, uh, for uh, you know, uh, being able to game in all different platforms of the ship. Yes, every single level can be just, you know, placed on top of the table so you can actually play on, on it without the, the display stand down yeah. here. And now we get to an interesting part because uh, we have uh, kind of the, the, the can room room here and we have these uh, openings kind of for the, yeah. the cannons, the, the windows, they are removable. Uh, they come in, in uh, two different uh, types, one that is open and the other one that is uh, closed. Um, I don't know if you can see yes. it perfectly. Modular bar portholes. Yes. And here we uh, are, the, the continuity of the mast guys, and the cannons. One sec. Um, 
Uh, someone in the chat said, uh, will this fit on a smaller print, which is Sonic Mini 4K, the smallest one? Will the ship, can the ship be print? Uh, yes. So I don't like, I, we didn't make a, yeah, don't quote me on that. Okay. Uh, cause, <laughs> the, yeah. Cause... So, uh, don't quote me on this yet, but the, the team is probably watching the, uh, is probably watching the live stream right now. Nobody made any comments, so I'm assuming yes. Uh, but Alvaro or Hobson can confirm on the chat if it if it is actually true. Uh, we usually make the all of the models available for the smaller three D printers for the smaller resin printers. Mm -hmm. uh, we we the only time we don't do that is when it would be simply too impractical to to print them. Uh, but we do have you know uh, a fair amount of parts for the. Uh, uh, even for the for the resin version, so I believe so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we actually uh, we to calculate the prints. If I'm not wrong, okay, to calculate the print on smaller printers, uh, we use the Sonic Mini 4K because it's the, the the smallest. So I believe you can print on on the Sonic Mini 4K. So please, someone of our team, confirm this on chat, please. Can we take a look actually on the the 32 uh, millimeter minis on yes. the ship just uh, so so we do have you know a couple of ghostly oh, yeah. characters printed here we didn't show this beforehand but uh, we printed it in kind of um oh, hold uh, on. translucent resin translucent resin yeah which is uh really fun and it shines on the dark okay? it does yes it shines in the dark it, it goes in the dark i know uh we have other ones here um yes but they they completely fit on the ship yeah, let me show this off. Yeah, we really tried to make sure that the, the ship would actually be, you know, playable. Uh, it was one of the, the, big, uh, the big, big things for us this time. Uh -huh. So if you want to actually be playing on all levels, you just kind of line them up side by side as you would on a battle map. And um, they're perfect for it. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This, this is just such a big project. I love <laughs> yes. that. It, it's kind of. It's kind of. You know. Kind of awkward because it's so big. It's kind of awkward to be able to, to show all of the details. Uh huh. Um, since we are on this kind of okay. side camera here, uh, let me show actually the figurehead for the ship, which is completely yeah. amazing. Uh, it is really cool, especially painted this way. So we have just received some updated information about the, the Death's Whisper. Unfortunately, it is only printable on the larger format 3D printers oh. for, uh, for resin. So sorry about that. Uh, we had our, our wires crossed here. Uh, so again, uh, only printable in the larger format uh, 3D printers. Uh, I'm, I'm actually not too familiar with all of the, the names for them. Yes. But anyways. But yes, this Saturn is Saturn one. Saturn. Yeah. Ali, Alice said on the chat, Saturn. This is lined up. Yes. Now th that's the next one. Yes. Yes, it's it's on yes. now. Uh, people in chat saying that the mic is off. Yes, it, it's back on now. Yeah. Okay. Can you hear us? Um, yes, you don't need to reach your microphones. It's, it's okay. Right here. okay. Okay. Perfect. Hold up. Let, let me let me just check if. Yeah, this isn't okay. This is perfect now. And here we go. Um, all lined up. Yes, and the, the FDM version is actually quite a bit sturdier. Oh, before we do that, Luca, yes, just a second. Uh, can we show, showcase the <laughs> ship next? To, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, can, can you, yeah, just okay, hand it to us. My pet's coming. The 75 millimeter version of the Sea Serpent <laughs> is perfect for this. Yeah, I mean, you, look at this. Let me just put this right here. Yeah, oh, this yeah. is an awesome encounter, Yeah. right? This is the 75 millimeter version of the of the monstrous sea serpent. 
uh, I think you, you can have a lot of fun. Uh, you can have a lot of fun giving a ship to your players, but you can also have a lot of fun Destroy. taking that ship away. Yeah, yes. just, just, you know, make this encounter as epic as possible. They're fighting, they're fighting ghosts and zombies on a ship, and if they fall in the water, there's like a zombie shark in this bundle. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, even if they survive all of that, they still have to contend with this, like, giant, giant monster. So this is, this is going to be a big bundle. Uh, yeah, for us, really uh, and for the sake of comparison, let's uh, actually showcase whoa, it. Whoa, whoa. Let me get just, it. just a second. Please, Thiago, don't put yeah, your hand yeah. on it. Please, 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 let me take this. Here off. we go. Oof. Ooh. Let me just move it's things around here. Been a while since I had to carry this, and this is insane. Oof. Just a sec. Not hitting the mic is important in this situation, but yes, let me take the giant serpent away. Yeah. Uh, can we even showcase both of the bundles? Yes, we got it. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's it's just this, both the, these are like so huge. They really are. Hold up. Uh, and we can actually, uh, since we have both of them now, we can totally do you know, uh, 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 Pirates of the Caribbean like the last one. Like, like, can you guys even see me? <laughs> Like, I, I think right here. You have to right, be right, right in the right middle. Here. Yes. So, yeah, we have two giant ships now at loot. This one, the Lady Harpy from Ship Ahoy, or March 2022 bundle. Uh, and this one, uh, the Death's Whisper, uh, is going to be available starting October 1st. Yeah, uh, this, this Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday. And, uh, Thiago, uh, about the Lady Harpy, we're actually going to have uh, soon an uh, update for you guys to download uh, not optimization of, uh, of the FDM, FDM version, version. Yes. so it's going to be better for you to print in, in FDM and oh yes so yes <laughs> I don't know I don't know I, I really don't know yeah so yeah yeah let's let's hold off on yeah, announcing yeah. that one <laughs> secret uh, Secret yeah, info. Just, don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. It's yeah. just, you're probably gonna hear about it fairly soon. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, this is yeah, this is a lot. Uh, if you don't have the the Lady Harp yet, uh, maybe you should wait until we release this bundle before you get it. It may be that you know there there's going to be something special about that bundle then. Uh, but either way, like the the Envious Tempest is going to be worth it. Uh, there's a lot of like really really cool models. There's like the giant serpent. There's a lot of ghosts and, and zombies. It's a great bundle for Halloween. Uh, uh, it's a great bun bundle for October. And we have the Death's Whisper ship right here. Let me try yeah. to put it back here again. We actually we have a video uh, showing showing the, the the ship better. So guys, the video is there. Can you put it on? Please. Okay, so let's transition to the video. Here we go. 